How's it hanging YouTube? Peter here, your Ginger Jody Geek. Welcome back to the channel for another Let's Talk Toys. And as ever, I'm joined by some of YouTube's finest. We've got James T. Keegan. How are you, James? Hey -o. What's up? Hey -o. Not bad, not bad. Are you well? You ready I for am, some I toy talk? Excellent. Good, 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 good. And we've got Luke from Hyra Collectibles, who's not feeling very well today, bless him. Luke, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing okay. If I have a little coughing fit, you know, on while I'm on mute, please just ignore. Yeah. Yeah, we will, we will. Um, we'll make sure you're muted, yeah. But nice to see you, bud. I hope you're well. We've got comic lad Simon, the talent for tonight. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Are you all right, Simon? I'm good, man. I'm good. Wait, good, can't good, wait. Good. good stuff. And Simon's got some good slides today. Um, now, we are now, I have to say, I'm um, very pleased to say we are permanently joined by Super Sorrel, who's joining the team going forward. So Sorrel, massive, massive thank you for joining and welcome. So, how are you? Are you well? Yeah, very well, thank you, man. Good stuff. Now, Sorrel, we, we've all watched your channel over the years, so we know you are a bit of a toy expert, so I'm <laughs> expecting you to bring the knowledge bombs tonight and all of the good <laughs> stuff. Um, so, yeah, should be fun. We've got loads to get through, guys. Just going to quickly jump into the chat. We've got C4 Darkman. Hurry up, <laughs> food's getting cold. You can start now, I'm here. Um, we've got Efren, Passpoint Comics. Convince me to buy a toy. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Um... Oh, one minute late, I want compensation. One of them big He-Man figures will do. I'll package it up and send it your way, mate. No problem. And we've got Jack. Always good to see you, Jack. And Fuzzy of the Dunlop. Simon, hashtag silly wave. Yeah, we like a Simon wave. Okay, guys. We've got lots to get through, so let's crack straight on. As ever, chaps, we're all taking a different little section to talk about. <laughs> we've all got our own little slides. Um, and Simon... We're going to start oh, off with Jesus. you tonight. Why do I have to go first? Oh, that, well, I just thought, get it over and rip the password There we go. You know, give the people <laughs> what, what they want, want Simon. Give you the people what they want, you know. So, yeah, I've been busy. Um, lots of Star Wars news. So lots and lots and lots. Um, this is what I put together. So, um, what's interesting, uh, we've got this uh, Mohawk uh, Nodan from the New Hope line, from the pipe pipeline uh, for the Black Series. So, that looks a really cool figure. Um, then below that we have a sort of droid army uh, where you can get obviously the clone trooper and the bat droid so that's been released out and then to the right we got this weird announcement uh, Luke Skywalker, Luke, Luke Joris, Kobath and Mara Jade now I already have Mara Jade figure so I won't be getting this and it's very pricey for a four pack so very unusual for Hasbro to do a four pack um, I think it's based on comics, if I'm right. Um, if anyone know, reads the Star Wars comics, yeah, it's the it's the Heir to the Empire sort of trilogy comics that they got mm. adapted, and they're kind of based on the artwork of that, I believe. Who's yeah. down the bottom left? It's Luke. Uh, oh, the, the, the bottom uh, left. That's that's Joris uh, Kobath. So okay, that's... look for for a second. Look like your man Malikos from uh, Jedi. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't I know, know who any of those people are apart no, from Luke Skywalker. They're all they're all comics ones, so okay. Uh, but it's very pricey at a hundred and five pounds. What for that four pack? Yes. How much <laughs> does a regular Black Series figure go for them? Um, well, 24. that Mo Mogath one's thirty four. Usually, I pay twenty five for. Oh, all. right. So, in, in which case, for four figures, it's not it's not that bad, then, is it's it? It's not bad, but I mean, two of them are Luke. You know, so I thought it'd be a bit fair point. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Okay. Ah, but one of them is Luke with new face and he's doing a slight scowl. Yeah, well there you go, you see. And one's got a beard. Extra extra tool and plastic for the beard, I would have thought. So you know, yeah. you've got lightning effect hands. Fuzzy's Fuzzy's not a fan. What a little bullshit. <laughs> is there anything less exciting than black series figures? Hundred and five, dear lord. Yeah, yeah, I will not be I'll not be picking these up. Any of you guys interested in these figures? No. Nah. No. I think I think if you're gonna do a, a four pack like this, it can't just break even as buying single figures. Like you need to have a discount involved in there to entice people to buy. You know, because even like Simon said, he won't buy it because he's already he already owns one of the figures. Yeah. So you know, you you've got to give that discount. It's got to be like you get a, a one figure free or something like that. Oh, they've got to be pretty special figures, like purely. I mean, I don't know, Simon. Are these? Can you get these figures individually in other packs or whatever, or are these exclusives? 
get the Luke and the Mar as I said, the Mara Jade. The other two you can't yet because obviously they're apart from the comic. I've lost you there, same a little bit with your mate, mate. Yeah, so they're, they're a bit of the comic form. Um, you can get the two on. Right? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Um, don't lie, if you, if you No, it's not. It's, not, it's <laughs> shit. It's shit, me. Not my cup of tea at all. <laughs> not my cup. Now, let, let, let's look at a proper figure. Let's look at a proper figure. <laughs> this is the Hot Toys Anakin Skywalker from the Clone Wars. Um, really interesting looking figure. Um, interesting in that this is the first time I think we've had these effects that clip onto the lightsaber somehow. These kind of ricochet effects. Not seen like, that before. I, I don't like think. Them, yeah, good. I'm not. Yeah. I, I can't work out how it works, James. Do you know what I mean? Because there can't be pegs in the saber. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a second saber that you peg them into. Maybe. Or, or just a second piece that you put on. Maybe. Yeah, I, I have to say, if you're buying a Star Wars one six scale figure. I'm, and this is a USB lightsaber, which is a big, big step forward. I'm always keen to have them with lightsaber in hand. But I have to say that Anakin with the arms behind the back, the saber just draped. That looks pretty cool. I think that looks very, very cool. There's been a bit of controversy about this, about the head sculpt. People kicking off and moaning <laughs> about the head sculpt, saying it's not, not very good he or doesn't suit exactly the character. exactly how he looks in the show. Like, I don't yeah. know why people, what people are moaning about. Like, I, there's some de-aging going on, so they've modelled it off that. So, yeah. like, that's what people... I think it looks spot on, so I don't know why. He has like, sad eyes. Very, yeah, it's the very real, relaxed look on his face, isn't I it? I think that's what people are saying. I think it's it's not that it doesn't look like Hayley and Christian. It's that it doesn't... <laughs> it's a strange kind of expression for him to have, it's I guess. The, it's the charming can't you, kind of look. Can't you have like a second head know? where he's, like, angry or anything? <laughs> Um, it doesn't come with a one Simon, but yeah, that oh. is, that's always a possibility then, with then, these figures. Like, there is like this is a semi re-release because there I have one of these yeah. comes with a cape and everything, so that's like a more classic Anakin scowl look on him. So yeah. if you want that, go for that. Like, the only thing is, I, I like the hair on this one more because I think it's a bit more accurate to that time period in the show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm not gonna get this. Just yeah. That, you know? Well, you've you've already got a version, haven't you? Yeah, yeah I love mine. And I like the cape. I think the cape's good luck. Yeah. So Jack saying our um, light up saber is the norm now. They've always been a lot of battery operated ones, apart from Ahsoka for some strange reason. The original Ahsoka um, one six scale figures, the blades weren't light up, which was odd. So they've always been battery powered, or a lot of them are battery powered, which were a pain in the backside because it was cell batteries. And um, these are now USB. So you do have a little wire which you've got to kind of drape around the, the costume and things like that, which is a bit of a pain. Or you can get um, what I got. Was it a CFFL um, lightsaber blades? Which are really cool, but very fragile. Because mine lasted about three months and my big fat sausage fingers managed to smash it. So that was 120 quid down the shitter. But never mind. Um, this figure, if you're interested in this figure, is going to cost you around about £290. So it's not a cheap figure. Not a cheap figure. Um... Fuzzy, looks like you should be called Quentin or Hugo. <laughs> yeah. Nice looking figure, but nice looking figure. Um, James. So I know, be beating the dead horse, I know, but Suicide Squad had its first kind of post launch update. A lot of people felt that this was kind of the last gasp. Like this, this was the chance for the game to kind of go, okay, there's something worthwhile here. So the Joker was added as a playable character. Um, and so they said, free update. Now you would you would suggest that would suggest to me that the Joker is free. Like the update happens, you can get the Joker and play as the Joker. You have to grind for ten hours to get him, uh, or pay ten dollars to have him straight off the bat. So by the time you finish, like there's two new mission types added, I think. So by the time you finish, like grinding to get him, you've done everything multiple times already. So there's no reason to keep playing. So yeah, crap. Uh, people like the like how he traverses, like he's got kind of a rocket powered umbrella. So that's kind of cool. He looks, he looks cool. Mm. Um, but even like the final boss fight is just like the Green Lantern fight again, just like a Brainiac version of him. Um, so people feel like this is like almost insulting as like a post launch update. Yeah. You know. yeah. Did anybody played this? Anybody actually had a go of it? No. I'm waiting till it's free in probably like three months. <laughs> Wait till it's free. <laughs> it'll be, it'll yeah. be on Game Pass and PS Plus in three months, like because it's hundreds of people are playing, not like hundreds of thousands, you know. So. Fuzzy can't believe we're still talking about this piece of shit. It came out and there's stuff that this will probably be the last the time I talk about it. It's until we dead, get surely. You, you've got to think yeah. though, like Cyberpunk had the same sort of outcome where it, it got all shocking reviews and was really bad, and then they yeah. sort of redeveloped it. I, I think that's a bit different because Cyberpunk's uh, a, 
Cyberpunk's problems were technical. It was like bugs and stuff mostly. Mm. Whereas this is like people think it gets boring after two hours. And if you're doing a live service, people are supposed to be playing for hundreds of hours, you know. And yeah. There's just not the content there to support that. So I think the that's chats, kinda... the chats going mad. So so Efren's not grinding anything to get that. And, and Efren, as we all know, is a hell of a grinder. He, he grinds a lot, does Efren. Um, Fuzzy's pointing out that I bought a console for that shit. Absolutely dreadful. Um, and is it better than Madam Web? Dear I, sweet uh, Jesus, some, don't. Someone, someone argue no. There's more entertainment out of Madam Web probably than, than no. <laughs> so. no. Has everybody seen? <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Has everybody seen Madam Web now? Yeah. No. Sorrow, what did you think? Just quickly, quick summary. <laughs> Absolute garbage. That's all right. That's all right. You can there's, there's, two you scenes can in the, there's two scenes in the film where you can visually see a boom mic above their heads. <laughs> they didn't edit that out. Yeah. Because yeah. it's probably the best bit of the, the film, to be fair. <laughs> can we ask Simon what he feels about No Con? No. <laughs> no. Um, Okie dokie. So, 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 Sorrow, your yeah. first slide, your first slide. Garfield. Okay. So I said to you all, I'll bring you randomness. You all have the areas covered pretty well. So I thought, right, I'll bring some random stuff in. Garfield, yeah. the movie's coming, people, and we're getting yeah. a toy line. I wasn't <laughs> expecting this, I'll be honest, but I'm no. glad it's here. No one yeah. was. That's why it's oh. beautiful. Look, look, brace yourself. It gets better. It gets better. Um, no, <laughs> Garfield, I mean, I have to say, Garfield, I am a massive fan of Garfield. I had the, um, the original books back in the day and all the rest of it. But, 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 Garfield's voice is Bill Murray, isn't it? In the, in the old one, yeah, the new one. Yeah, it's, um, I, what's he I called, watched, him that played Mario, Chris, yeah, uh, Chris Pratt? Chris Pratt. I watched the trailer and I, I, I couldn't, I, <laughs> I, it, didn't, it didn't work. Bill Murray suited it to a T, I think. Yeah. I, I was he did. exactly the right age for those movies, I love them. Are we just going to yeah. get Chris Pratt to voice everything nowadays? It feels like That's it, the plan, yeah. that's the plan, yeah, that's the plan. So... Are you buying some of these, um, Sorrel? Are you buying some? They're releasing basically a plush line. Funko are going to be dipping on it, obviously. Um, but the best part is we're getting a basic action figure line. When was the last kid's <laughs> movie that you remember actually getting a toy line in this day and age? Honestly. Because like, the art of uh, like the old kid's movie having a toy line is sort of dying out. I think Trolls had some stuff and it didn't sell at all. And Smith's had them for like a quid the other week. But um, no, Garfield's going to get like a full at like toy line. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what they do with it. Ah, uh, yeah. Fuzzy's in the Turtles movie. Would that count? Mm, no, because yeah. Turtles, like Turtles, Power Rangers, they always have toy lines regardless. The movies yeah. are made for the toy lines. Let, let's be honest. Yeah. They're old school toy companies. But I mean, I mean, like, when was the last time, like, a film like Shrek or something came out and we had a toy line for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. like Kung Fu Panda's out. No no action figures of Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. Is there not? <laughs> nope. That's not shocking. a single toy for Kung Fu really? Panda. That's what I'm saying. It's like nothing. They probably would sell, wouldn't they, as well? Exactly. All the kids' toys these days are like Lanky Box, Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, yeah, yeah, Pop yeah. Poppy's Playtime, yeah. which I do review on my channel. Go check it out. But... <laughs> Chasing those views, but um, Garfield the movie. I just, I just, you like you guys have Black Series covered. You have Necker. You have everything. So I thought, forget. I'll bring in some Garfield plushies. Why not? I, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. When I, a little while ago, was it was it Luke reminders? Was it Necker had an mm -hmm. Alf figure? Yes. Do you remember Alf? Mm. And I have to yep. say, I was sorely tempted, purely because of my childhood memories of watching Alf, a, a Garfield figure of the same style with an Otis. That, that does quite appeal, I have to say. Yeah, if Nendroid or someone like that got hold of it yeah. and did like a proper action figure, that'd be awesome. I'm yeah. just waiting for a decent Scooby Doo line. Like, not of yeah. like, McFarlane toys yeah. or something to do it. Like, do all the villains yeah. and everything. I'll buy Super it. 7 would be perfect. Yeah. Super 7 yeah, would be yeah. perfect. Yeah. I'd buy every fucking single one of them. Like, <laughs> yeah. And the Misty Machine as well. Yeah. yeah. Need it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, and then Luke, speaking of Mecca. Yeah, so uh, it wouldn't be a toy show, would it, unless I brought up turtles? Um, turtles, turtles. I like, turtles. I like turtles. <laughs> um, so these, you know, this is the uh, Mirage comic series wave. So these got announced at toy shows last year, um, and I absolutely fell in love with them. Particularly that Baxter Stockman. I was like, I 100% have to have that figure because, as many of you who have read turtle comics might know. Baxter is a very different character in the comics than he ever was in the old animated show that we used to all watch as kids. Um, so I'm really happy. These are hitting Target stores over in America. Uh, not too sure where they make it over here to the UK, and that's always a concern. 
And I know that haters are going to hate, but these are available on AliExpress. So much so that mine arrived today. So mm, very cool. Ooh. I've got Baxter. I've got Jack Kirby. And then I've is that got, who I'm trying to work out who that, that is? is. That's, that's Jack, Jack Kirby. Kirby. Yep. So he has a pen, he has a he has a pencil with a little uh, crystal on it that whatever he draws comes to life. Was that was that a turtle? That was a yeah, turtle's comic. Yeah. yeah a, uh, and I've got the two two foot soldiers. So uh, they are available on AliExpress. I know people don't like it, but it exists. And for people like us over this side of the pond, when things are exclusive, I think that's the best way to get hold of them. To be honest. You know, I I I. I... I might get that Jack Kirby. It's yeah, nice to pair, pair like, with my um, Stan Lee. You know, it'll be good. I like the shell shading on them. So, the I think shading. they're really nice, well, and I can't wait the... for the Leatherhead Crocodile and for the Rat King yeah. because we saw those being advertised at the toy show as well, and I just think they look absolutely amazing. So, fingers crossed, we'll get those soon. So, and I know you're a, a user of AliExpress. It's not something I've used, to be honest. But in terms of price point, look. Is this cheaper from AliExpress than it was if you were to try and get them elsewhere? So, in total, these cost me £25 each. So, I think that's okay. more than reasonable. That's including all the tax, the shipping and everything. Yeah. You know, it's all just thrown in. Um, and I do only buy from sellers that I've bought from before with high, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. feedback and everything. So, as long as, as long as you're careful, you can't really get ripped off. In fact, it's worked in my favour before where I've ordered a Lego set, like a fake Lego, as it were, um, but they didn't tell me that it had shipped. And so AliExpress actually gave me my refund the same day that it arrived through the door. All right. And then it's kind of like, well, what do I do? You know, if they, if they asked me for the money, I'd happily pay it. But yeah. what do I do? There's a language barrier. Yeah. Might have just missed, you might have just admitted to a crime there. Luke. That's all right. They can, <laughs> contact, they, can contact me. they can contact me all they want because I do a lot of business. You know, they do right. get a lot of business out of me. I buy a lot from them. Right. Um, I'm tempted by the uh, the Jack Kirby figure. I have to say. What about the rest of you guys? Anybody else picking these up? Yeah, Kir Kirby's tempting now. I might, I might get him. Yeah. How about you, Cyril? Kirby to go with Stanley, probably the yeah. best one. Yeah. Simon, to go with your nah, Black not Series. For me. No. Not for me. <laughs> Good stuff. Cool looking figures. I quite like them. Quite like them. Simon, more Alan. sexy Star Wars. More sexy Star Wars. Um, just before I go deep into it, I just wanted to point out that uh, Hasbro have changed the boxing slightly, which is quite interesting. So they've combined sort of the the red line sort of front with the number boxing with the, the traditional like image on, on the side. So you can see that they seem a bit more squarish now. They're, they still will match up as a, a whole image, thank yeah. God. That's what I was collecting for. Um, uh, so yeah, moving on. This is obviously. The... <laughs> what do you mean? That's what you're collecting for for the, for the image, for the wall. The image, for the image. Peter, Buy a friggin' poster, yeah, Sam. Yeah, you, know, you can't get those posters. Okay, <laughs> okay. They're, they're I'm with you. I'm, I put, I'm gonna, uh, give me thirty seconds. No, we'll find a poster. Where's that button? Where's that button? That where's, the button? That where's the button? Where's the button? Yeah, be warned, Simon. We do have okay. the Simon button. All right. All right. All right. All right. Do, um, sorry, sorry, Simon. Just before you you continue on, I think I know the answer, but obviously I know the rest of these guys well. But Sorrel, are you an in-box collector or an out-of-box collector? Me, out of box, hundred percent. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah. Sorry, Simon. C continue talking know, about. Anyway, so yeah, Hasbro have redesigned the Black Series uh, boxing, <coughs> so slightly. So uh, that was just an interesting feature that I noticed and seen. So this, these are all the, the new announcements for the Acolyte that is coming out. Very ah, soon. right. So I pre-ordered two or, or no, three of these figures already. Um, so yeah, some um, characters we don't know, but um, you know, sort of given us a bit of insight to the Acolyte. So you know, you've got uh, a Padawan there. Um, Jet Lion, I don't know what it says. Um, <laughs> a Knight Yord, Fandar, and then I know, I think the May Assassin is going to be a big part in the this series. So, a lot, a lot of them look like, fine. yeah. So, what she's on say? the trailer, isn't she? The trailer looks very good, yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought you said Mank for a sec. I was like, excuse me. No, no, the trailer <laughs> looks great. Looks really okay, good. Okay, right, sir. So, yeah, but very interesting to sort of have a, a bit of insight to the series. Um, but these are the only figures that are been announced. So I'm looking forward to maybe a bit more. You know, I was hoping to be a bit more like Sif because we did see some light, um, Sif lightsabers in They're there. They've not revealed so. that character, though. So I think yeah, they might. No. Now, so. now you, so you've pre ordered three. 
but mm-hmm. you will have to get all six, won't you? Because you know, oh yeah, six. eventually, yeah. But okay. it's a bit like uh, the uh, Ahsoka series. I've just held off till the the prices have come down. Yeah. So, how many how many black series do you have now, then, Simon? Uh, over two hundred. That's wow. That's so yeah, much money. Probably, I think. That's I'll have to count them. And he count. displays them all sideways just yeah, for the You can't even yeah. see the figure. You wouldn't even know it's there. <laughs> I've, got, I've got quite a lot. I've got quite a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. But that, hang on, hang on. You've got quite a lot. You, you kind of... You, you gave her a figure of 200 to start with. Are you are you yeah. moving down from that now? To... I don't, I'll, I'll count and let you know. So okay. I count. That would be a, an exciting just, segment. Probably, I'm probably year. overestimating 200. I'm probably thinking... But 10, it, 20. It is. No, there's more than that. There's more than that. So, there must be. Uh, how long have you been collecting them, Simon? Um, Because oh, I was collecting them from the beginning and I stopped about three yeah. years ago and I've got well over 200. <laughs> yeah. Because I got every... I got well. I got every single thing, every single one, including re-releases, because I'm an idiot, right? And now I can't sell them for love of money. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Fuzzy's asking you to count them now. Um, saying, <laughs> the Fuzzy, is this? You've been since 1974. Yeah, very cool. Now, well, Simon, I, I, ha- I only collect the Pipeline series, not the Red Line, or because obviously you've got the. Art. That was naughty, Mr. Keegan. I didn't press <laughs> I didn't, that. I didn't, I didn't pre- wrong. No, I didn't press that, Mr. Keegan. You pressed that, so I've stopped it. That was an inappropriate use <laughs> of the Simon <laughs> button. <laughs> His lips were moving, so some talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Simon. You were seeing before James rudely interrupted you. I know, I know. We'll do it on his segment. <laughs> yeah. Carry on, Simon. Carry uh, on. Yeah, so... I did press that one. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been collecting since the pipeline. So, what's the pipe? I don't. So I don't understand. What's the pipeline? What do you mean with the pipeline? So, there's obviously with these um, sort of images down the side on the boxes. So, uh, black series have been going a long time. Um, you've got like the red line, which have got like a red, you know, red line down the box. Um, All right. Okay. So it's li- so it's literally the color of the box. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but okay. these these are called so you now you've got like the vintage <coughs> line and then you've got like uh this this is called the pipeline. So, okay. Yeah. I have to say Simon, I'm liking the helmet. A little helmet. bit of helmet, but I like the that helmet. Is, uh, Moth Gideon helmet from Hasbro, so yeah, really nice. Yeah. What what I'm thinking of getting, so yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do the nope. did the smaller scale Star Wars figures still still outsell these more modern ones or like, no. vintage still line. buying all of that stuff? Uh, pretty much the same. they release the same amount, the vintage line and the black series. So, uh, I would say like there's there's a lot more vintage lines than there there is than the black series. But I I, I think no. the, 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 these sell a lot more. These ones do because but they the, the vintage lines fit better with like ships and stuff. So, yeah. Okay. They released six figures for Acolyte in Black Series. They only released two for uh, Vintage yeah. Collection. Let's yeah. put it that way. <laughs> yeah, they actually so. catch up, but the Vintage does fit more in like with your dioramas and things like that because they're more to scale. So, mm. yeah. What's the what's the kind of the see through figure at the bottom? So that's another one that I won't be buying. That's another hologram, a hologram, a hologram one, basically okay. of a uh, Darth Maul. So. Oh, I remember you talking about these a few weeks ago. So these are supposed to be the figures that when they've, they've got the kind of the, the hologram things in the hands, but yeah. it's completely off scale. If you want one of those, do you not want it in a little scale so your characters can hold it? No, I still think this it, is it? great for cosplay. I oh, for cool. cosplayers. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. You can have it on your arm walking around and it's a little hologram figure, right? Yeah. Mm. How have they still not done Obu and Kenobi that talks with a talking bass? They're doing the whole, you know, the, the yeah. timer has gone. And the, that that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff, Simon. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, bit of Jack, bit of Jack Sparrow. This is the Hot Toys Pirates of the Caribbean, um, Jack Sparrow figure. This is out in three different versions. So you've got your Artisan, which is basically Hot Toys' new version of doing wool rooted hair, um. So like like a, a I was gonna say it like a doll, um, or you can get the the kind of the deluxe version, which is got a, um, a, a it's not called a steering wheel. What do you call them on the boat? It's not a steering wheel. What do you call it? 
the uh, wheel thing. I can't remember. The big wheel thing that you use on a board. I think it is steering, because um, you're steering the ship. Is it a steering wheel? Steering, yeah, yeah. That, that's where the phrase steering wheel comes from, I think. No idea. Um, and then we've got the standard Jack Sparrow, which doesn't come with the kind of the collector's base and stuff like that. I think that head sculpt is phenomenal. Um, you get one head, but the face plate remove, so you can see you've got two different expressions there on either end there. So a kind of a smirk and expression and a normal expression. Um, I'm really tempted by this. I don't have a Jack Sparrow in my collection. Uh, I just think it looks pretty phenomenal. It's a pretty phenomenal price as well. If you go for the Artisan, which like I say, is the one with the wool hair, you're looking at around about 630 pound for that. So it's a lot of cash. The Deluxe version is 330, and then your standard version without the collectible base and stuff is around about 300 quid. So not cheap but that's because of the licensing for the face sculpt and all the rest of it. Um, what would you put him with, Peter, though? Well, I, I've got a movies collection, so I, I've, mm. I've kind of got a, an entire cabinet which has got my favourite movies, so Rocketeer, Predator, Alien, um, all that kind of stuff, Ash from Evil Dead, <coughs> um, Mars Attacks. So he would, he would sit with that. I'm not willing to spend 630 quid, like, so yeah. that would be balls to that. I, yeah. I really want this though. Yeah. I love, I, there's so much to start. Pirates of the Caribbean was just right at exactly the right time for me, you know. Um, yeah. Adore that franchise, so much nostalgia. Love mm. this character. So, like, I'm too much money. But yeah. I, want, I want, you know. But I think if I was getting this as well, I would, you know, it's 300 for the standard or 330 for the one with the base and the kind of the ship's wheel. I think I'd go the extra 30 and get the ship's wheel because it would just set it off, I think, quite nicely. Um, I don't know. Extra? Say again. It's only thirty extra, isn't it? Yeah, for the wheel, for oh, the that, deluxe. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Like, you know, yeah. Penny, you know, so. Yeah, I think you're right, Fuzzy. I think it is a ship's wheel. Yeah. Um, we've got MJ Cox. Nice to see you, mate. I hope but you are well. The position is called the helm. The helm. Yeah. But the wheel itself <coughs> is just a, the wheel. Uh, the wheel. Yeah. Yeah. The what about you guys? Is this? I know you don't collect one six scale figures, but what do you think of the sculpt on that? I mean, it pretty much is bob on, is it not? I think this is absolutely phenomenal i think this looks amazing but you're right the only thing that puts me off is the price like yeah. i would happily collect one six scale i just can't afford to you know i can yeah. never i can never justify the price of one figure being the same cost as buying six or seven six inch figures yeah, right yeah. it's yeah. i would much rather put my money elsewhere and and get more for it but this does look amazing like yeah. it's really cool yeah yeah what about you sorrel I'm the same. I'd love to collect it, but it's just it's, it's far too uh, you know, rich for my blood. Um, I've always said if like I I could get it, but then it'd be like that that'd be one video on the channel this month and nothing else for the rest of the month <laughs> until yeah. we get paid again. So yeah. I mean, I know I'll, I'll stick to my uh, once to my uh, six inches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It's sexy. It's sec not your six inches, but the, the figure is very <laughs> sexy. Yeah, I like it. It's very very cool. James, you're up. So releases for the last month or so. Um, so four major kind of releases. I'll start with the Star Wars one. So the Battlefront's got like a kind of a, <laughs> not not even a remake or a remaster. It's just a, a re-release of the original two with online multiplayer um, enabled. So it's up to I think sixty four people in Battlefront two. Uh, disaster <laughs> of a launch. So they only mm. had like enough servers for so, something like three hundred people or something crazy like that small. Um, and there was thousands of people trying to play it, and people couldn't couldn't play it. So like, yeah, reviews are in the toilet. Um, just an absolute shit show. <laughs> the launch, so that's pretty that's pretty crazy. Um, it's a shame because I, I I love those games. You know, it also was a bit pricey. I think it was like forty forty five quid yeah. or something. I'm like, that's a bit much. I think for just like a, a Porsche, you know. Um, so yeah, that was a bit of a shit show. Uh, Rise of the Ronin is from the team that did Neo, so it's kind of like a open world samurai fighting demons kind of game focus on the kind of combat got pretty decent reviews i think sevens and eights okay. uh graphics aren't amazing um like so like some i've seen some screenshots look like a, like or footage that looks like a ps3 game kind of crazy but um i think like the combat kind of puts it over the edge in that way uh dragon's dogma 2 is this from capcom so this is like an open world rpg 
Uh, and I think nines kind of pretty much across the board. It's supposed to be incredible. Um, I really want to give it a go. I think it looks. It looks really I cool. won't mind like, giving that a go. It's, yeah, um, you, create, you create your character. The character creator is insane, and then you like can create your like partner. So people are like putting up. I mean, you can make your, yourself Nick Cage and John Wick or something. Yeah, and go around together. There's um, really there's cool. a, a Dragon's Dogma um anime on Netflix. So there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, it looks looks really cool. Like I like I like the it kind of looks like it plays a bit like Dark Souls, but not as difficult. You know, it's more open mm. world kind of adventure game, Skyrim kind of esque. So um, yeah, I'll probably I'm gonna pick that up down the road. Then S- South Park Snow Day. So this is um, I think it's like a multi it's like a multiplayer shooter kind of deal. South Park games. So you know, I picked up a PlayStation at Christmas. <clears throat> And I came in the other day to my son playing on one of the South Park games right. um, yeah. where he was a superhero or something. Yeah, the fashion um, yeah. He immediately turned around and said, you said I could have this, Dad, as his character was at a strip club, a male character, <laughs> grinding on the... Oh, doing a lap Slayer? dance, yeah, yeah, yeah. doing a lap dance, basically. And I was like, "What the holy shit are you playing?" Um, but ah, it was hilarious. I have to say, I sat are. and watched him playing it, and it so, was so, superb. Spot. That's on. sort of the unfortunate because the first two, so there was um, the Stick of Truth, which is kind of like there's an episode of the South Park where they all play Lord of the Rings together. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of based on that. It's an RPG. Then Fractured but Whole is like a take on the kind of superhero stuff. And they're both like really beloved like RPG open world yeah. RPGs where you can go around South Park. And like you what look at the gameplay and it looks like an episode of the show. Oh yeah. Absolutely. This is more like three D modeled um where you're going around kinda of, like throwing I think you're throwing snowballs it's at each more other. Turn based, sure. isn't it, I think. Is it turn based? I think so. I thought it was think... a run and gun kind of shooter thing though. No? no, I thought when I saw a bit of it, I thought it was turn based. <laughs> so Okay. Well, it's fact, multiplayer. Someone in the chat, I, fact I, check, I, fact check, Simon, please. Right, let's fact check it. Fact check. Okay. Simon. Honestly, you might, might be right. I've not looked that far into it, but reviews aren't great. It's like I saw a three out of ten on my GM. So like, it's, it's not by the same studio though, is it? It's by a different studio this time around. So it's not yeah, the same people that made the first two. I think hmm. it's like being designed as a live service. So there's some microtransaction shit yeah. in there as well. You yeah. Know? So like, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate because I think like we have had some bang in South Park games over the last yeah. few years. So like, yeah, it's unfortunate. That's yeah. a shame. That's a shame. Good stuff. Okie dokie. Moving on. Mini That's figures. Me. <laughs> I've put your slide up there, I'm sorry, but I've also put up a little image because I actually collected some of these Marvel ones. <laughs> my first foray into mini figures. Yeah. Um, and they were interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So, Sorrel, tell me about these. So, the new Series 26 will be out on May 1st. Um, it's a space theme one this time, so I like the little the little grey alien at the front with the big eyes. He looks awesome. Uh, but yeah, I love I love Lego minifigures. I think they're ace. Mm. Um, it's it's good when they don't do a light. I, I love the licensed ones. Don't don't get me wrong. Like Marvel and Star Wars, Harry Potter, whatever. Great, but like it's great when they go back to just making their own stuff and having their own minifigures. I think they're yeah. more fun. Yeah. So yeah, I'm looking forward to these. <clears throat> I'm not. I mean, I'm not. A, as people will know, I'm not a big Lego man. I did get sucked into the Lego minifigures for the Marvel run, the last Marvel run that are on screen. Then I got a few of those. Um, but yeah, they, they don't necessarily like my world of life. Any of you guys collect minifigures? Me, Simon. Which ones yeah, do you I've collect? Got, uh, I've got the. I've just started. Uh, so I've got series twenty six, the series before, and I've got the mar- that whole Marvel line. So. And then I went and collected the Disney 100. So I was. I did you've, got, you've got this. You've got Series 26. You've got these space ones. No, they're not out yet. Series 25. Oh, sorry. I thought you said. The, the series before. Series before, basically. Okay. okay. Yeah. But what's interesting, I would point, uh, they rele- They changed the boxing or the way. So you, mm. you can get a, a brick app now and you can grab a box and scan it. It'll tell you which minifigures in the box. Ah, really? Because when they brought the Marvel ones out, there was a problem with people opening boxes to try and figure which one it was. Yeah. So to get around that in series 25 and 26, you can now scan and see, like, get. But was that's... the purpose of it not like it's a mystery box, though? No, yeah, no. no. I, I, I hear what Simon's saying because back in the day when they were in like a plastic bag or whatever, you could f- kind of feel out the figure, try and feel the figure, couldn't you? Mm. I have to say, I bought some of these Marvel ones and it pissed me off no end because I think I got three versions of Agatha or something. And yeah. I was like, how are you, man? I, I just want a Wolverine. Do you know what I mean? So, so yeah, and about four quid a box or something. Is that right, Sorrel? About three fifty, four quid? About three fifty, yeah, three fifty. Yeah. 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 Um, but you might, Lego minifigures might not be a thing like traditional Lego, but you do realise you can get some bootleg, like, 
you know, knockoffy ones. Like I've got yeah. Reagan from The Exorcist and very cool, yeah. A bit of five every nights time, at Freddy's. Every time I go to a con, <laughs> there's just tables and tables oh, of hundreds, the, the, hundreds the, yeah. of custom ones, the yeah. minifigures. Um now Fuzzy's not a fan of Lego figures. He detests Lego figures. <laughs> um, they're supposed to be D and D set of oh, mini figures in the works as well. They look amazing yeah. as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, me and my lad used to stand at Asda while my wife shopped, and we stood there feeling every pack, feeling every so, package. Uh, thank you. So this uh-huh. is the thing, right? So I personally don't collect Lego mini figures, but my kids do. Yeah. So I actually buy loads of minifigures sometimes from store sometimes from aliexpress again sometimes they're the bootleg ones or whatever Mm. but i have them all in a big jar and whenever the (laughs) kids are well behaved and they get a treat they get to pick a lego figure out of the jar and it adds to their collection and they've got one of those big light box containers and they can put them all in or they can play with them and do what they want and it's a it's a great incentive for the kids to behave really very Um, cool it's a good idea download it it's called brick search is the app and then obviously with it you can search on the boxes with the qr codes and then it'll tell you which one's in there cool so when um excuse me hi kenneth nice to see you mate um when i was at my last con um in gateshead there was a guy selling all kinds of, of vehicles and lego minifigures and i have to say it was it was a, a good show because one of the guys um stopped him and said you realize you've got that I don't know what it was. It was a Star Wars set. He said, you've got that set up for 70 quid. He says, the Lego, the minifigure alone is very rare and it's worth three times that or something like that. Um, so he was helping the guy out, but it made us start thinking about the prices of these. Do you know what the most expensive Lego minifigure is? Sorrel, you might. Uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a Star Wars one, isn't it? Because obviously that, that was the first ever license they did. And I'm guessing yeah. it's going to be an Ewok. You are. That's an interesting one. Yeah. Anybody else? I think when I looked it up, there was they did a Mr. Gold figure as well, which was all like gold. oh, Mr. Gold. I, that's the thing. There is yeah. there is solid gold ones like official yeah. Yeah. license. So I think it's one of them. Any idea how much? Uh, Ten grand. So no, you're right. Is it, is it, is it more is it like something stupid like a hundred grand or something. No, uh, you're you right. It is it is a solid gold figure. Yeah. Wow. Um, it's a CP three O. Fourteen carat gold, two hundred thousand dollars. There's only five of them made. Two hundred thousand dollars. I'll get the spray paint out. <laughs> God, I mean, it's just that's obscene, absolutely obscene. Uh, giving away is a contest and um, prize. I mean, yeah, o- obscene, obscene. Um, good stuff. Okay, okay, thank you for that, Sorrel and Luke. We're back to you. Yep, not going to waste too much time for people. You know, this is very quick. We just got to stop these turtle mashups. Like, <laughs> I, I am a, I am a big fan of turtles. You guys know I am, and I do buy a lot of turtle action figures. But this is not the turtle figures that I want. I don't know who's buying this. It, you know, I love Transformers. I love turtles. They don't go together. I love He Man. I love turtles. They don't go together. Quit with the mashups. I don't want to see it. Just Thank send him a nasty time. letter, <laughs> Luke. Fuzzy said earlier on, I can't remember, did he say it was wrestling figures? Yeah, WWE yeah. have done some. The ones from Mattel look awful. Turtle and wrestling. They're not even, but they're not, it's not even turtles. It's wrestlers dressed like the turtles, basically. So, like, it's like <laughs> Coffee Kingston in green and orange to look like Michelangelo. Things like that. He thinks his ideas. That's what I want to know. See, people are liking it. And more Rey for Mis- Transformers. Marshall. I'm I'm happy for those people. Don't like again. It's just it's not for me. I. I've, <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough. And it, it, what's worse is that these are 40th anniversaries for both Transformers and Turtles. Yeah. So give us some decent toys from those lines that we actually want. So what as are those to mashups? What are the Transform into? Because they all look very similar. They're the Turtle van, I assume, right? So you get four Turtle vans, not even like four <laughs> different <looked> vehicles. <laughs> yeah. Fuzzy. They're a bit... How are Fuzzy? You can do better than that, Fuzzy. Don't tell us abysmal. Tell us what what are the really use your catchphrase for us. Um, yeah, these these aren't for me. These aren't for me. Although saying that, mind, I did have a few years back. Though Marvel did a line of transforming superheroes, so you got Captain America as a car and stuff like that. That was quite quite cool. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Iron Fuzzy. Now I think <laughs> this is what made. There's an Iron Man, I think, or something. And is like, it? We were in the Lego store the last time I saw it. 
There's a Marvel one there. Like, yeah. Not for me. Not for me. I'll pass. I'll pass. Simon, I always love it, Simon. I'm going to get my button ready, Simon. I'm going to get my button oh, ready. Jesus. I, I always. These names. I, I love it when you put a big, big page up like this and I can quiz you on the names of the characters. <laughs> there are two on there I'm pretty confident you're not going to get. So I'm, 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 I'm hovering yeah, over the button. I, I, well, I, I can get Deadpool and uh, Wolverine. Of course. You can get Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> Very well done. Simon. Good lad, Simon. Yeah, good lad. Good lad. Yeah, I, I thought know. that. I mean, they were the two I thought you would struggle with. I have to be honest. I know. So uh, yeah, the, these are uh, Hasbro and uh, Marvel Legends and uh for the deadpool for the deadpool movie so and he gets his little unicorn so yeah very uni. cool. Hey, yeah. cool and then we've got retro iron man being announced um let retro iron man figures you've got she hulk uh you've got Whitlash. and that sorry sorry just to stop you there yeah. simon sorry wait that that's actually a pretty good sculpt on she hulk i quite like that one yeah i know fuzzy's a big she hulk fan but i've not seen a kind of a smiling version like that i like that one We've got Whiplash. Well uh, done. We've got... I can't see his name. Count. He's oh, reading oh, them. Oh, he's <laughs> reading He's reading He's reading them. There's a Mark Mordo. One. <laughs> Mordo. Mordo. <laughs> there's, there's a Mark One. A... Keegan, I'm taking control off you. You're not allowed to touch me button. He's talking shit. He wasn't talking shit. He's just reading the fucking thing. No, 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 Carry on, Simon. Off. Simon, don't let him bully you. I know. Right? Bully me, I know. Uh, so <laughs> there's the Mark 1. Then there, there's the Mark, uh, I think it's 9. And then Mark 5, I think. So. We've got some good crotch action going on there with Iron Man at the top corner as well, haven't we? He's, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's not bad at all. Is the Wolverine <laughs> from, um, like, X-Men Origins? Because it's the end of Deadpool Yeah. Too? Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, it's the repack of the wool. But basically, it's the Amazon head because they, they released two, didn't they? They had the the one with the in the Amazon exclusive box, which had like the the, the different head and stuff. Then they had the the white the white tank top Wolverine. Yeah. And they basically put the head from the one figure on the tank top Wolverine and re-released it. Yeah. Mm. Which then tanked the price of my figure, so there's no point owning it anymore. Uh, right. <laughs> I, I am tempted. Them, I dare them to do the Barakapool from X Men Origins. I'd love to see. What did they do? <laughs> Barakapool. Did they do one of them like in the last three years? I don't think so. Are they going to do a re release of that? They should do. No. I, that. Yeah. I won't buy it, but I want them to make it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I do like that Count Nefari I made. I, do, I quite like that one. Not that I collect this scale. I only ever really collect these sc this scale if we go to a convention or something and you get them kind of like that Dublin con, James, what we went to, they were reduced down. It was like five euros or yeah, something, yeah, which yeah. was ridiculous. Yeah. So I picked up Speedball and it, it, three or four other figures. Um, Nova and then Qu Quasar, sorry. Um, so yeah, very, very cool. I like those. Um, okay, this is another one six scale figure. This is from Sideshow. This is their new line called Honu, and this is what they're classing as a entry level figure for one six scale collectors. They've started off with an X-Men line. They've done a Wolverine, which I think I showed you last month, which is spectacular. And this is the new Magneto figure that they've got coming out. Magnetic um, hands. Yep, that's, wired cape. That's, that's a winner. Yep, yeah. I, I, you know what? I'm really liking these figures. I'm not buying this one. I have bought the, the Wolverine, but I'm not buying this one because I actually really like my Sideshow Magneto that I've already got. Um, I think the face sculpt's a little bit better. But... I do like the magnetic hands on this. I think it's very cool. <laughs> I love that these figures come with this. You'll see in the top corner there, this um, this kind of perspect clear oh, back and that you that. can put a comic in behind. That's very nice. Which I think is very cool. Um, this is going to set you back. It's still an expensive figure, but it's still going to it's going to set you back around about one hundred and eighty five to one hundred and ninety pound, which for a one six scale figure is not bad. Um, well, why, I, I why are like all this. the other figures so expensive then if they can make them that price? So if you look at these, James, the head sculpt, they haven't got to pay any um, licensing for the figure, for the sculpt, sculpt. So as soon as you're paying for an actor's likeness head sculpt, you right. put the price right through the roof. Well, I don't know. I'm sure if you take a look, like, say, they're League of Legends figures or whatever, they're not paying anybody a license fee. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah, uh, yeah. But, you'll, but you, tend, you tend to find that they've got a whole host of accessories and things with them to try and okay. bump it up that way. Oh, this is just the, the screws and the 
I don't know if you get the. I don't think you actually get the screen. Right? No, it was just for yeah. an illustration of the fact that. It's, <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. I am. I'm, I'm not. I'm backing out. I'm not taking yeah. it. No, thank you. you do get those. The effects at the bottom there. The kind of the the circular effect. You get those. Um, I think. I think these are pretty cool for the price point. I think. Um, but I agree with um, Andy. The face looks like an eek emoji. I'm not a fan of the head sculpt. I think they could have done with giving him a kind of a more neutral um, head sculpt. Um, Sorry, Kenneth, Triple J, do you see your Instagram? Yes or no, please let me know. I have got Instagram, Kenneth. So yeah, I do, I do see stuff on Instagram, mate. Um, yeah, good stuff. So yeah, <coughs> these are impressive. Bit more of a cheaper entry to a one sixth six scale. Would it taste any of yours? It's certainly a price point that I'm more comfortable with, like around a £200 mark. Um, but again, it's it, it has to be something that I really want at that yeah. price Joe you know, Luke though second hand second hand market you get most of these figures for about that like we're yeah. not cheaper you know 150 is about what a lot of second hand ones go for I'm, I'm current I know it's off topic I'm currently saving up to get a He-Man because I want it to go with my battle cat yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know at the time I couldn't pull the trigger he's, but uh, now I want one he's all mythic legioned out that's why <laughs> yeah <laughs> um absolutely Andy absolutely okie dokie anything anyone wants to say on this before I move on Yep, good stuff. James, bit of Batman. This is sad. So um, Monolith is the, the team that made the Shadow of War, Shadow of Mordor, and Middle Earth games. Um, so they were working prior to those games on a Batman game set in the Nolanverse. So this would have been 2010-ish. So between Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises. And the interesting thing is, that, so in the Middle Earth games, there's this thing called the Nemesis system. So it's sort of like a, the way it works in, the, in that game is like it, you have like orcs and if you get killed by an orc, the orc kind of gets more powerful and remembers you. So like if you get in a fight and you burn it, the next time you see it, she'll reference the fact that you burned him. And in the second oh, game, right. it, gets, it gets really complex in the second game with his entire storylines and stuff that like dynamically play out. Um, but they developed that for this game. So it's going to be like... If you're you're Batman and you get beaten by a, a a mobster, the mobster rises through the ranks and stuff. So I, thought, I think that's kind of interesting. I I'd love to see that mechanic in a superhero game. I think it'd be really cool to like you can see a, a grunt turn into like a supervillain by like just letting him beat you over and over again. You know, sort yeah. of in the way the orcs work in in Middle Earth. Um, but there's some some leaked gameplay of this. So there's like stealth sequences, some of the gliding. You don't really see much of the fighting. You can see it in like one of the menus when someone's scrolling through, but. Looks really cool. It's kind of sad. I know that we had the Arkham series going at this point, so that's probably why this didn't happen. But it looks very cool, so it's, it's kind of it's unfortunate. I like it. I like the um, I like the style of it. It looks very cool. Looks interesting. Good stuff. Good stuff. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god! I want this. So. I didn't even know this was a thing. <laughs> so I told you I bring the randomness. So. Playmobil have teamed up with the people over at Bird's Eye, and basically you have to collect two coupons from the back of Mini Fish Fingers. Oh yeah, Mini Fish Fingers is now a thing. Uh, you can uh, co two coupons from the t from the back of the uh, the Mini Fish Fingers boxes, and you can send off for a Playmobil Captain Bird's Eye. The thing is, what I love about it, we've not had a mail away in years. This is the first mail away since like what the night is. Yeah, mm. I, I want it. I want it so bad. I'm so. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm forwarding it to my wife. <laughs> Why did they ever get rid of mailways? Thought was it just something? It just as the just times not... move on in it. Just... I remember back yeah. in the day, the the, mm. the first one I kind of got involved with was on the back of Thundercat um, cards. I don't know if you remember, but you you had to mail away to get the Mumra in the red robes. Um, it was really cool, really cool. The thing that's disturbed us most about this, but sorry, <laughs> um, the thing that's disturbed us most. That's that's mar marinara seafood sauce with the fish fingers in the background there. It is. What kind of animals? You don't have seafood sauce with fish fingers. It's tartar sauce. You don't have. That's for prawn cocktail. That that. Uh, nice bar, you, yeah. Okay, you can have that with fish fingers. That's no, fine. you can't. No, I disagree. I disagree. I have, I have tartar sauce and ketchup mixed together. That's why. You... Whoa. Mixed together. Yeah, yeah, yeah mixed like You a, like animal. A... You know what I really, you know what I really miss, and I know it's not the same as sending off coupons, but the toys in cereal. Like I look at my yeah, kids, and I just yeah, feel like yeah. they're missing out. Like that yeah. was so, 
That was such a big part of my life. I growing know, up. and some little bastard had to choke to death and ruined it for everybody. It's I know. <laughs> <laughs> for fuck's sake. Speaking of, speaking of, uh, speaking of things from cereal. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Speaking of twice, twice from cereal. Still sealed. Still sealed from the oh, 90s. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. on. Let's, uh, yes. let's, let's make him big. That's James. What we got? Still sealed from the 90s. Wrestlers Reviewed. in my... Wrestlers in, in my, my uh, in my pocket. Ah, yeah. I've got a whole, I've got a whole bag of them here. Do you remember these bad boys? I don't have any sealed ones though. I've got a couple of sealed ones, but mainly all loose. But yeah, monsters in my pocket. So the Very ones cool. that I kept. Oh, was, I remember um, these things. Yeah. My pet aliens, yeah. and I got the big mothership that I sent off for as well. Um, absolutely loved that. Like so cool. I remember yeah, the McDonald's toys back in the day. Um, there was some Warner Brothers kind of Daffy Duck mixed with DC heroes. They were very yeah. cool. Yeah, I got see, those as well. Why, why can't they put them back in cereals? Like, just more better package and protective. So, like, because obviously you still get toys in McDonald's, you know. Simon, I'm not sure they I'll don't, trust don't you with a packet of cornflakes in the Simon. toy. In it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I think I can imagine you fistfuls of cornflakes, Simon, swallowing a, I don't know, a bicycle <laughs> wheel spinner or something like that. You know what I mean? Well, Getting one of them they, lodged in your throat. They could put it in the box outside the bag, though. Like, take yeah. it to the inside of the bag, you know? So, like, yeah. Kids are I don't think it was anything to do with kids swallowing it, though, was it? It was more someone, to do someone, with the... A kid, a kid choked to death. That's what happened. Is that, is that the truth? All right, yeah. Okay. I thought it was more to do with the whole because that, that that whole thing, wasn't there, where the, all the cereal had too much sugar in it, and the, you couldn't yeah, put they, the advert they on they before mascots, like nine pm. Must yeah. daft. Yeah, they got rid of the mascots for a lot of them as well, didn't they? Because they didn't mm. want kids buying the cereal. But from that, then we didn't get any more Tazos and crisps and things. Which and then all... they took away the yeah, turkey Twizzlers. Damn you, Jamie Oliver. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I mean, okay, we've gone off on a slight tangent here. <laughs> that, was, that was an E. coli scare, though. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah. The, 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 they, back, um, they brought back turkey twizzlers, though, didn't they? They, they did, did yeah. Not the same, James. Yeah. I, I rushed out to buy them. <laughs> they are not the same. I've never eaten a turkey twizzler in my life. They look I mean, manky. They, were, they, were, they, they taste nice, they do. Fucking delicious. But it's rank. <laughs> no, it doesn't it's matter. They're them, great. smiley, smiley faces <laughs> and beans. Yeah. Perfect. Great, great diet, that is. Okay, battle cat. Yeah, Jim, that's, um, that's exactly Luke. right. Battle Cat. Um, so I've actually sold a lot of my Masterverse figures, like the latest line of figures that they've been doing. I sold a lot of those in order to buy my Mythic Legions. So this isn't something that I'm necessarily going to go in on. However, I do need that Battle Cat because my Battle Cat collection is staying regardless. Um, I also thought this Beastman was really cool from the yeah, movie. I like that. And I also yeah. think this Throne is a really cool addition too. More so for me if I was going to do a repaint on it. I just think it's a good a good base to then repaint and use for other th figures as well as skeletal. Yeah. Um, but that Cringer, you know, first time ever we're going to get an articulated Cringer action figure with a swappable head. This is big news for any He-Man fan. Yeah. Looks cool. I do like the throne, mind, I have to say. I do like the throne. And the Beastman's pretty cool as well. The, the Cringer, I'm afraid I can take it or leave it. Um, I've I pre-ordered two. One for me, one for my son. Yeah. But yeah, pretty cool. I like them. I like them. Any of you guys picking any of these up? Nope. Nope. Not for me. No. I'm all alone. Right. Right, right, right. So this is in our group chat. <laughs> and I just I just wanna just I just people watch the show and I want them to understand how how much stress it is pulling <laughs> these slides together. So we've been doing this show for what, two years now? And roughly every month, we'll get the same conversation about who's allowed to put what on the slides and blah, 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 blah. So we did this last time, yeah? And I was clear, absolutely clear, yeah? Simon, what, what's this? <laughs> yeah, you... What's yeah, this, Simon? I, I thought I was doing the McFarlane. Simon, anime bollocks, Marvel, Star Wars, Hasbro. Luke <laughs> McFarlane. And you've sent us this, Simon, haven't you? When has Luke done it, Farley? <laughs> I'd never get a chance. Well, that's a I, I always get one of my slides booted being told that Simon's done it. Simon, you may talk about Captain Boomerang, oh, I'm spoiling it, I'm giving you the names, and Starfire, but not the one in the centre, because Mr Hydra Collectibles has sent that one in his own slide, all right? Okay, okay. So, so crack on. We have two competing Farley. slides here from McFarlane. Amazing. Love it. All right. I'm going to get the popcorn ready. <laughs> this is my father. You should have told me. <laughs> I did. Uh, 
I did. <laughs> I didn't read it. I didn't read it, did I? Because I just, I just expected. You should have told me. Up. I didn't read it. <laughs> <laughs> you just hold on yourself, there, Simon. <laughs> Crash on, oh, Simon. No. Tell me about Captain Boomerang, man. Uh, yeah, Captain Boomerang and Starfire. We've got which really, I, I put these up because they look really, really uh, amazing figures. I think like McFarlane, they really articulate their figures really well, and like these would be sort of figures I would pick up. So. Yeah, I like the Captain Boomerang. That's the version of Captain Boomerang um, from, oh, what do you call it? Is it Infinity Crisis where he kills his dad? I think. Mm. Yeah, that would have been post cool. um, the Suicide Squad movie then, was it? Yeah. Because yeah. Luck is kind of inspired by it. I might get that. I like yeah. I love Boomerang. Boomerang, yeah. you know. Yeah. The Starfire is pretty cool. I quite like that one as well. Yeah. yeah. But McFarlane do do some amazing figures. So, yeah, they are very, uh, they are very, very, very cool. Nice selection, Simon. Well done, mate. Well done. Simon, I picked this for you because I thought you might like it. This mm. is Present Toys 1-6 scale. It's an unofficial figure, so it's called Legendary Warrior. But that's obviously Link, isn't it, from that game that you're like. Um, what do you call it? Yeah. Um, so I, yeah. <laughs> I think this looks pretty cool. This looks interesting. You can get a few different versions of this with different accessories. I think there's two. There's a, a standard and a deluxe. Um, the deluxe comes with a bow and arrow and a much better base. Uh, the standard comes with the sword and shield and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, not for me, but I think there'll probably be a big market for this. This is going to go for around about um, 170 quid. So not not a bad That's price. Not, not a bad price. Anything. What are you guys? Th Simon, I know you. Did you pick up the le the? Oh, what do you call it? The game. The League of Legends. No, yeah. I, ne I never got the pre-order. I asked your friend, but I never got it in the end. So oh, okay. I need to. Okay. Want to I still want to get it though. I still want yeah. to get. It. There's two of them out now, isn't there? The Ash one and that. One, oh, they won't so. be. They won't be out for a year. No, but I yeah. want to get. I want. It, I still want to get them. So, yeah. yeah, I'll let you know if there's a. Yeah. Yeah, not for me. I'm not, I've not. I don't think I've ever actually played the game, the Legends of Zelda game. Um, but I'm sure there's a big market for this. Any of you guys wanting to pick these ones up? Are you interested in these kind of figures? I think it looks very cool. Happy that they're making it. Present toys are a bit iffy when it comes to head sculpts but like i think with this kind of cartoony look it, it, it's you know it looks very yeah. good yeah um link has though like this is his breath of the wild or um tears yeah. of the kingdom or whatever look um so curious if they're going to do like a classic link with the green you know yeah. twilight princess yeah yeah. Era. Um, yeah sure they will we use that sculpt. yeah 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 um just quickly jump, <laughs> jumping in the chat um Andy wants to see his wrestle naked, no doubt. That's interesting. Um, <laughs> Sorrel is thinking, what the fuck have I signed up for? <laughs> <laughs> Wait until he has his own alarm button. Um, yeah, so interesting stuff, but no, not not for me, this one. James, I'm interested in this mind. This is Marvel Rivals. This kind of came out of nowhere. So this is a, a, a PvP hero kind of shooter Marvel game. So I think it's free to play. So it'll be... Mm -hmm. My question is actions, but like it's free, so whatever. So it's it looks very kind of if you've ever played Overwatch, it's got that kind of style to it, but it's third well. person. But like, yeah, there's some magic is in it Namor, Hulk, Iron Man. Um, there's a trailer that you can watch with the gameplay at the moment. Looks looks kind of looks cool. I'll, I'll give this a go, definitely considering it's free. Um, but this has potential, I think people, people might dig this. To what platform is this on, James? I think it's on everything, it might, it might even mm -hmm. come to. to phones maybe oh, okay um, but it's a, at very least it'd be on ps4 ps5 xbox pc anyway mm, interesting i like the look of it i like the fact that you've got some interesting characters there and obviously Tons magic so many characters yeah, yeah so. you know, one of my <coughs> you know, one of my favorite characters there so yeah i'll probably just give this a go and um, what about the rest of you is anybody interested in having a go on this simon i know you're a gamer yeah if it's free like fortnite i'll get it downloaded and have a go, give it a go so good stuff luke uh, I don't think I've got a console that will play it because all of my stuff is is much more retro. Um, <laughs> I'll just check if it's on phone. You got a switch, haven't you? I thought you got a switch at Christmas. Only recently. It was technically that's my wife's, but no. yeah, it's it does depend on what the platform is. I mean, there's a lot of these Marvel games out there, so I get confused between which ones what. Mm. Like, yeah. if I if I go onto like the so-called store, like whatever you, wherever you download it from. I'd have to really know which one I was getting in order to be able to, you know, play along with people that I want to play with. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. shit! So it's it's only on Windows and Mac launching when it launches. Oh, right. So it'll okay. come to, it'll, I presume it'll come to consoles yeah. and 
like mobile devices later on okay. down the road. Yeah. Sorrel, you're a bit of a gamer. Is this something that would interest you? Yeah, when it eventually comes to console. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was interested, and then it's a, it's a PC only. Oh, yeah. That's so annoying. From... Why, would they, why would they do that? Like, Yeah. Just yeah. test the bugs out first. They always release a lot of games on Steam first, sometimes. Yeah. Mm. They always sometimes yeah. release a lot. <laughs> not, not every game. I yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Come on, Keegas. I just, I just assumed like it's the logical thing to do is to put on everything, but yeah. Okay. Um, I've no idea what this is, Sorrel. What's this? So you've probably seen Deadly Bears um, in HMV and um, Smiths. Uh, I've got some. I've got some behind me actually. Let me try and grab one. Deadly Bears are these little plushies that come in little uh, body bags with an autopsy report. Um, no, I've, I've not. I've not seen I've them. I've never seen this in my life. <laughs> So I like it. I like it. It's, it's cool. Yeah, like they've got like they've got a werewolf one, a vampire one. They're all based on monsters, and they're releasing a new line called Creepy Cats. Um, that's coming to uh, Smiths this coming week, um, and <laughs> they're all like they're all like cats that are dead. <laughs> so like it's like a little pet cemetery kind of thing, and then to we. To keep on with that, they're going to be releasing creepy canines later on in the summer. But then they've even announced like stuff for the like the following years as well with the care, uh, with bath babies and boo bears. And I believe the boo bears look like they're going to be those. Do you remember the were bears? Where yeah, you pull yeah, the back yeah. of the heads and they yeah, snarl yeah, yeah. and stuff. The kind yeah. of look a the look, the look, the look looks as if to be a little bit like that. So I'm interested to see where they go with it. They're a they're a UK small company that managed to like get their stuff into Smiths and things. So I mean, I'm I'm all for it. I like small little UK companies that come out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, just for my clarity, we're talking cats and dogs in a body bag with an autopsy yeah. certificate. So at the moment, the bears and they're, they're coming, it comes in like a little body bag. You can unzip it and stuff, but they've got like a little little autopsy report that tells you what he died of and everything like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, proper weird. It's great. I mean, I'm 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 there for it. Um, a lot of the guys in the chat saying the were bears. I had some. Well, I haven't seen. I had some. My son and daughter had them, um, and they were tremendous. You like squeezed the back. And they turned from a cute looking teddy bear to like a vicious thing. Um, I quite mm. like them. They were cool. They were cool. Interesting stuff. Look out for them then. I have to say, I quite like the idea of having a teddy bear in an autopsy bag. <laughs> um, be interesting. Luke, te tell us tell us about this, Luke. Yes, yeah, so I want to know Simon's thoughts. Um, <laughs> 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 so, all jokes aside, I was going to show, I was going to do a slide basically showing all of the same figures you know with the batman stuff and all the other characters but this is the one that really caught my eye mostly because i love that there is this like i don't know if it's a, a chase variant or what but it's the blue suit yeah look, which is very reminiscent of i think it was who made the originals was it kenner or was kenner. it toy biz kenner, but it was yeah. way back in the day they made them and it was my favorite figure when i was a kid yeah. i absolutely loved it and i loved watching the uh, you know the adam west and the penguin in that and everything else um so this is the big seller for me, you know, because it's a nostalgia purchase. Like, I want this figure. I, I couldn't care less about the rest of the line. This is the one that I would want yeah. purely for nostalgia. But I want that Chase version. Again, I don't know if it is Chase or if they're just releasing two two separate sets. Like, I don't know how rare it's going to be to find. Um, but that's the one that I'm after. <laughs> Simon, what are your thoughts? Yeah. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I do quite like this. I think this is very cool. I remember having the original back in the day, and I had the original Batman as well. Um, do you remember when we got the penguins for the the movie, and the, yeah, the, the yeah. penguins with like rocket launchers attached to them yeah. and all that sort of stuff? They were I've great seen, as well. I've got I got two of those with my one six skill um, Danny DeVito penguin that I got a little yeah. while ago. Very cool. But I'm like you, Luke. I think if I was getting one of these figures, I'd be going for the blue and yellow because that's the classic. Mm. kind of toy look which i really like james we've just recently um watched batman 66 really? what did you think of these yeah. this looks good yeah that's cool i love that classic classic look you know and i think um you said there was some other batman stuff as well is there other like classic classic joker or something is it i did i saw a joker figure i don't know how classic joker it was but okay. there was a joker figure listed um, neither yourself or simon put this on a slide no 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nice to hear about it at least <laughs> i think this looks very cool i think yeah th th this would be an interesting one to pick up um but yeah like you say i want that i want the blue i want the blue very nice very very nice simon 
back to you played. yes so we've got a bit different i've got higher toys uh with another monster verse godzilla uh so i don't i can't remember the creature's name it's the ice one in the yeah movie. i can't remember its name either i can't remember its name um spoilers it's in the um, end of the, the latest godzilla movie in it yeah so but that looks a really cool figure to get um obviously um i've got a nice king kong here uh so i'm looking to oh. get godzilla hang on so, let's have a look at that simon just a second that's sorrel oh very cool so this is a nice really cool king kong so yeah it's sort of a figure i'd like to get so yeah so you're so, gonna get that to go with him well uh the that one was the uh sh uh, uh monster art one so yeah. uh higher toy you know you can mix and match the higher toys with the monster art ones so they're pretty cool they're pretty much the same size so um yeah it, it, it's one i would pick up so yeah, I'm, well, I'm looking it, with this scale with that though, because this is supposed to be much bigger than, like, the no, it, it, they, they'll scale, it. it'll scale, yeah. But so. like, they're not the same size; they scale together. Like this one, will no, be they, lot bigger. They scale together, so yeah. It'll scale yeah. with the Kong, will it? Yeah. So. Okay. And then Good I've stuff. got uh, another Zelda one, which you've said, uh, or and it's Figma. So a Breath of the Wild. So I've already got a Figma original Luke in the green. So with Figment toys, so very cool. Good figures. I have a Demon Souls one. It's very really mm. high quality. A little bit too small for me, but like you know, and they were yeah, they're a bit, like they are a bit small. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good stuff. Nice, 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 nice. I am keen on the MonsterVerse stuff. Um, I, I couldn't go into another collection, but that's the only thing. Do you not know, want uh, one, uh, 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 Dan Stevens to go with that thing now? No, absolutely no. not. Absolutely not. No. <laughs> um. I just wanted to quickly end from from the one six scale side of things. We've talked a little bit about pricey figures, and we moved on to not so pricey figures. I'm going to go to stupidly pricey figures now. So these are all custom figures by Rovanic Custom Studio. We've talked about these guys before, but they've got some new figures out. So I'm just going to quickly rattle through a few slides, showing you what can be achieved. These are all non-official figures, so the custom built, built to order. Which does mean that you can you can change paint scales, um, costume design, and things like that to an extent with with all of them, but some of them are absolutely phenomenal. They do predominantly Batman um, and Superman based figures, uh, but they do lots of different variations and variants as well. Um, these are some of the more recent ones that have come out. I've put that one um, at the far side there. The the uh, Guardian, sorry, the Gargoyle of Gotham is a recent book that's out which I know Fuzzy in the chat is a fan of. Um, I didn't realise they were doing a figure on him, but he looks spectacular. I love that. And I love that central one. These are going to cost you probably between 800 and 1,300, 400 pound per figure. So they are obscenely expensive. Um, all the costumes, costume is custom made. Anything that's leather is proper leather um, on the figures, not just pleather and things like that. So they do look pretty spectacular love the dark knight line that they've got um the the kryptonite gloves i think look spectacular um i'm really liking that batman with the black outer cape and the blue inner cape again very very sexy but these have got us kind of um on the edge so like i said they are stupidly expensive and i've never wanted to pick up any but i've seen these two and they just look amazing so the night lord is kind of a zombified Batman with his face all gnarled up and ripped open and things like that. And then the um, the Azrael Batman comes with, it's one figure, but it comes with three different head sculpts. So you've got the kind of the armoured Batman head sculpt, you've got the bat face, and then you've got another bat face, which is slightly different with some different creasing on the, on the cowl. Um, but I'm a little bit tempted by these, <laughs> which is silly because they are stupidly expensive. They're they're show stopping though. I think they look incredible. Yeah. Like that that classic Batman you showed a couple of slides ago is like one of the best looking Batman figures I've ever seen. You know, which one? So um the before I, that middle one there. Yeah, like, that's stunning. Incredible. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, and I do like that gargoyle of Gotham costume design as well. Um, so yeah, just wanted to show these guys off because their artwork, the the the, the figures are just absolutely stunning. Um. But you pay a stunning price to go with them. 
Um, but it just shows you what's out there from custom creators if you are willing to put down the money for these. If you want to know a little bit more about these figures, um, Justin from Justin's collection has got a few reviews where he's picked up a couple of different figures. Um, I thought I had the image of the... Um, put the one with the... Oh, yeah, the, the, the horse figure, the Batman um, Returns horse figure. I think it looks amazing. Good stuff. So yeah, if you want to check them out, check them out there or go over to um, Justin's collection and have a little look-see at them over on his page. James, bugs. So I think this is an interesting counterpoint to like the Suicide Squad and how that handled post-release content. I love the community this game has, has kind of built. Now, I've only played the tutorial and I tried for about 40 minutes last week to get a game going with Simon and we couldn't get invites to each other for some reason. Um... But like it, it so th things ha the developers sort of add things to the game, but they don't tell anyone, and it almost like spreads like a rumor. So like, um, there's like these bug enemies in it, and like flying ones started showing up, but people were telling people, and the developers were like, "No, there's no flying bugs in the game. What are you talking about? You know, they're like gaslighting everybody," which I think is hilarious. And now there's um, these like ships that have shown up like in some maps like out in the you can see them in the distance and like we don't know what the deal is with them um the automatons which are sort of like a robot enemy type um have been like simon correct me if i'm fully defeated now so they just they're going to be gone and not show up again i i don't know i haven't played it recently but okay. um I, that's my understanding probably. is there was like a campaign like everybody pushed like we're gonna beat the automatons and then people did it like yeah and they're gone now and well i don't know yeah. how james because i had a go last week i said to me son just put us on a level so i can have a go and see how it's and he put us against the robot things and he just pissed himself laughing at us because i just couldn't cope with it i kept I, getting shot yeah. and i was trying he kept saying oh use your special ability here and then you bring up a menu and there's like 15 yeah. things where you've yeah, got to do was... left, right, up, down, 19, <laughs> yeah. 4, 6. It's like, yeah. what but, the yeah. fuck? Oh, it's for the stratagems, yeah. That, um, they're, they're called stratagems, and you've, you've got to know you're up, down, left, right, and everything. Yeah. Nah. I, I saw someone I saw someone posted something that was really funny, but it's like, when you fight the bugs, you're fighting for freedom. When you fight the automatons, you're fighting for your life. Because <laughs> yeah. there's that much tougher in the so, game. You know, so someone's um, adapted a smartwatch with the stratagem, because... Um, in, within the game on the ship you can test out how fast you can do your stratagems like your right lefts and up and downs and someone's done a, a watch version or they've even made like steam decks where they've automated typing them so it's pretty cool. mental i see i'm never going to be able to do that my brain just doesn't work i could never even when i was in my prime i couldn't work out the bloody combinations on mortal Kombat and shit like that so i'm never going to manage to do this For a i'm a because the way the game is like it's evolving now since it launched i'm like annoyed that i've not really gone to play it because i don't i want to experience like if the automatons are just gone and they don't come back like there's another enemy type that mm. comes it's almost like feels like a movie where like yeah the, we've yeah you missed things, it. then the sequel the next one comes in you know liberated, like, um, they liberated. whatever it's going to be very cool like, but I, surely I there'll be is another game. campaign version to this is another... yeah. No, no, it's all—it's all multiplayer. It's all online. It's all multiplayer. So it's all online, and it, each person liber helps liberate, like, and do missions on on planets. Yeah. So, there's no story yeah. or anything. There's like a story in the sense that, like, you got like an intro video or something. But like, the story is sort of happening in the games, you know, right, which I love. Okay. I think it's really cool. So, like, I, I'm, I'm loving everything this game's doing. Yeah, and when I, you're I on really the ship, Peter, down, play more. you can literally see people like getting blast off into planets, okay. uh, and they're well, actually other players. And it's very starship troopers isn't it yeah, it's very yeah. starship troopers you, if a ship if you see a ship like in the distance someone else's ship explode it means that they went on a mission they failed which is just oh, okay. like the little details like that incredible yeah. i love it good so. stuff sorrel have you played this one nope it's on ps5 i don't have a ps5 all right okay okay would you well, like to know more <laughs> exactly uh, well I, I have a ps5 now guys so i know james mack um, is keen to play this so why don't the four of us kind of get yeah, our heads so. together yeah. and, and have a bit of a play on this um, and yeah. let me i'll do the tutorial and then we'll uh, we'll try and sort <laughs> something out maybe next week and yeah. try and catch one of us should, we should just hook it up so that it's streaming on one of our channels like one of us is playing it. Let, let's let's see how shit i am <laughs> let's first, get before first. i humiliate <laughs> myself <laughs> on exactly youtube again yeah. you know what so I mean? simon's gonna be our sergeant he's gonna teach yeah, jesus christ <laughs> yeah. Imagine. okay right right chaps business okay it's sorrel's last slide of the night now sorrel so far i'm not gonna lie when we invited you on we thought we we're gonna get 
kind of horror content and stuff like that. You've you've given with fish fingers and teddy bears. So the last slide is your chance to kind of scratch it back, okay? You ready? Let's go for it, mate. What the fuck? Monster High, oh, mate. Monster shit. High. <laughs> mate, nothing came out in the in the horror in the horror <laughs> toy world. Nothing came out this week. There was You're through. there was Spider Man two Funkos, man. I wouldn't like to slide on that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Monster, Monster. I, do you know what? My daughter used to play with Monster High dolls, and they were pretty horrific in terms of the the <laughs> body design and stuff. And like that, I seem to remember the spines curved out like the wrong way. Anyway, tell me what this is. What what am I what am I looking at? So we're getting a re-release of Operetta <coughs> from the nineties. That she has been sort of like re-designed for a modern for the modern release. But this is Operetta, the daughter of Phantom of the Opera. Um, they're all based on Universal Monsters, which is the reason yeah, that me and my daughter, yeah. like me and my daughter, collect, collect them together. I've got a massive up there. Of this, I've got loads of them on the top shelves. Yeah, we, we've got uh, we've only got the full collection now, uh, but they're all based on the Universal Monsters, which is the reason I like them. Yeah, my daughter, like I say, had um, the original lineup when the, these must have been out a while ago now because she's eighteen now. Um, but I seem to remember them being extremely expensive when the like the, for a new so, figure. Each one of these will cost you thirty pounds a pop. Each doll is thirty quid. Um, if you get one of the ones in the in the coffins, they're forty eight ninety nine. And the crossover ones, because I've got some, I've got ones that are based on like Chucky, Tiffany, and Annabelle. They're yeah. about seventy quid a pop. Gee gods! But they're they're stupidly uh, like like once like like the Jack and Sally one. I couldn't get older for love of money. They sold out so fast, and there was only like things like ten thousand worldwide. Yeah. Are there any of the it'll upset us, but are any of the original lineup worth anything? Because I sold them all at a car boot sale not too long ago. Oh god, yeah, they're worth a fortune now. These. If really? you've got like generation one dolls, they're worth a fortune. Fuck. <laughs> as everything <laughs> is, anything that was released in the nineties, the early two thousands, <laughs> worth a fortune. <coughs> and my my daughter had another line called Ever After, I think. Ever After is the of... spin off line. Yeah same, yeah, same sort of thing. Basically, Disney basically redesigned the idea for Descendants. They basically stole the idea of Ever yeah. After. Yeah. And, and made Descendants. I'm a fan they of Descendants. They basically stole this from, good, like, good songs, Scooby-Doo, Descendants. Scooby-Doo and the Girl School is the same. Like, <laughs> with the yeah. daughters of, like, Frankenstein and Dracula and shit, so... Yeah. I, I love the fact that they've all got really tortured puns for names, like Draculaura and Claudine Wolf, and they're all, like, ridiculous <laughs> names. Frankie Stein. <laughs> now, 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 now. Uh, the only person I would imagine would have some of these... Luke, have you got, have you got any of these <laughs> figures? Have you got... I, I don't personally, but yeah, my daughter does. Um, I really, I'm, I'm really upset because I've actually got it saved as an eBay search, you know, to like notify me when it comes up. Yeah. I'm, I'm gutted that I missed out on the Mattel Creations Beetlejuice uh, double pack. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. so much because of the Beetlejuice figure. I could, I could do away with that. It's the Lydia Dietz figure that it came with. Yeah. And again, because my daughter is named after that character, I would have loved to have got her one. Yeah. Um, so that's the one that I'm still on the lookout for. But yeah, she she collects them. She's got loads of them. Yeah. This year they've already announced that we're going to get a Wednesday Adams. She's definitely come into the lineup, and they are going to do another Beetlejuice. So you might be in luck. Mm. Like, I'm guessing. I'm guessing if they're going to do Wednesday, I'm guessing it's going to be another uh, General Ortega, probably yeah. based on the set, second film. I would have thought. Why yeah. would they pay twice for licensing? Yeah, if they're getting the rights to our to our likeness. Yeah. yeah interesting stuff interesting so i can't say i'm going to be picking these up sorrel but i do appreciate um some some different stuff being brought to the show so yeah interesting stuff simon you a big fan of these no <laughs> <laughs> james is i can tell i'm not even going to ask james james has got a collection i can tell yeah you got a collection what, what's, james? What, what's, what's, what's the actual what's the actual like new why is this here what do you mean? Because he's just explained that that doll there, the oh, okay. daughter of Phantom of the Opera, is is coming out. Okay, that's it. What yeah. do you mean that's it? Okay. <laughs> what do you mean that's it? You guys have got all the good yeah, toy this companies, is, this and is, I'm left with whatever else comes up. So you're Sorrel, gonna get crap like Sorrel, me. Sorrel, 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 yeah. don't, Sorrel, don't let him bully you as well. All right. <laughs> Just remember, he's talked about Suicide Squad for four fucking months. Do you know what I mean? So don't, don't <laughs> let him. Sorry, I, I tailor this to what you might be interested in. So like Sorrel, the superhero one, you know. <laughs> Sorrel, Sorrel, you can, you can have the McFarlane line if you want. Because, <laughs> because Simon doesn't have it. All three of you do. The McFarlane Mc... next month. <laughs> Thing is, the the McFarlane ones. I can't believe nobody's talked about the Batman Forever figures. I can't believe that hasn't come up yet. 
I was they were like one of the big ones. Only five sides. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the comprehensive news <laughs> show that I was hoping it would evolve into, guys. <laughs> Lost our way. Luke, yeah. Luke, you're back up, mate. What's this? Yeah, so um, I, I said a couple of weeks, well, a couple of months back that um, uh, Super 7 actually lost the license for the Simpsons figures and stuff like that, and we didn't really know what was going to happen. Anyway, I saw Jack's uh, Pacific basically picked up a, a line. Mm. These are a lot smaller, um, but I thought the additional pieces were a lot of fun. So, for example, this is a life-size um, Krusty the Clown doll from the Treehouse of Horror episode where he was switched to good and evil, which I think is great. And he has a whole bunch of different sayings from the from the show. Uh, and then we get Moe's Traven's phone with all the prank phone calls and everything else. <laughs> and I just think this is a great like little feature for like a man cave or something, particularly if you've got a little bar set up. You know, I think it would be quite a nice little uh, fun piece of So, so is, that a, is that a one-to-one scale kind That's of That's a one-to-one scale phone. No. That's quite cool, man. I like that. Um, I think I feel like the phone itself could be a bit more dirty because obviously the, the yeah. sticker on it is dirty. So I feel like it's too clean. Maybe a little, yeah. a few modifications. Um, but again, like I say, great if you've got that sort of bar set up and you just wanted it as a fun little yeah. homage to the Simpsons. Look, would it? Obviously, it says includes pranks, so you can actually dial it in and it will play some of the, the classic pranks. To yeah. You. yeah, yeah, also. Those um, the the figures up above. I don't know why, but the What's the is it Santa's little helper, the dog? Yes. Yeah. They they're giving us really Scooby Doo vibes from some of the figures the Scooby Doo figures I've got. Don't insult. Yeah. You have Scooby Doo figures? No, but yeah, yeah, but no, it's a, it's the same kind of setup with the legs and things they got from the, the same sort of articulation. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll, as soon as we're finished, I want to see your Scooby you show me your Scooby Doo figures. I'll show you what you want. <laughs> they're the, so, they'd be the Scooby Doo figures that you could get in like B and M and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I've yeah, got yeah. loads of them. Except I bought mine from a, a toy shop which had opened the B and M packet, put the figures into individual plastic packets, and then charged us four times the price. <laughs> so that was nice of them. Yeah. We didn't discover that until after I bought them. No. <laughs> Do you want a bit more information on this line? Because I've got the press release uh, oh, go from Jax. So basically, the new line will include a, a wide range of figures, including um, the, 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 sorry, included thir the characters from the 36th season, available in various forms, including the basic 3.75, deluxe 6-inch, premium collector figures to be announced, play sets, plushers, toys, advent calendars, and shelf talkers, which is the big 12-inch one, yeah, yeah. Uh, to name a few. The upcoming products will be all available by summer and winter of 2024. So there is going to be a premium 6-inch line as well as these little 375 three, ones. So these ones are to scale with the house yeah. that they've showed us because there's a place out of the house. Um, but they're going to be doing 6-inch si ones. And so far they've announced um, there's no pictures yet, but they are going to be giving us Mr. Burns as Dracula um, and um, Bart Simpson as a superhero. I could be all in with so the six-inch line, to be honest. Like, I didn't know there was a six-inch line, so that's news yeah. to me. That's amazing. Um, even with the Super 7 ones, I always wanted the aliens, you know, the... Yeah, uh, yeah. The yeah. Yeah. Zarg and... Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, Super um, 7 did them too. Yeah, they were, if they're doing the Simpsons, would they be doing Future Armor as well? Because I, I would be sold into Future Armor, so... Yeah, there's maybe. no word on future drama just yet, but maybe, hopefully. But yeah, yeah. They, it's the fact that they're going to do the six-inch line as well as the three-inch line. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. These were all announced at WonderCon, um, and Jack Specific showed them all off, basically. I can't believe how many se seasons of The Simpsons we've had now. What did you say? This is based on the 36th season or something? Uh, yeah, there's going to be figures from the 36th season included in this wow. line. It's incredible. Far long. Far it's long. just gone on and on and on, isn't it? <laughs> I can't remember the last time I watched it, like a, a, an up. A modern episode of The Simpsons. The last it's always repeats was, that I've seen. Do you know what I mean? Ten, so uh, ten years ago, they did a. An ep it was a big deal. It aired here first. It was an episode where they went to Dublin, went to right. Ireland. So okay. like, that's the last episode. That's the most recent episode I watched. That was like ten years ago. Incredible, incredible. Um, Luke, one more slide from you, sir. Yeah, one last slide. This was an extra that I know I wasn't meant to throw in, but I did. So apologies to everyone else. Um, this was just other stuff that I thought was a bit noteworthy. So we got a shadow figure from the Mezco uh, 112 line. That's pretty cool. Um, which I think is such an underused character, such a great yeah. character from comic books. Um, so the I'd read that one of those. The movie's great. Alec yeah. Baldwin one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I like that one. Yeah. 
And then we, I, I don't know if you guys know, on that on that comic book, you know, like the photograph cover, that's actually Stan Lee dressed up in all of that. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. I don't Is know it? if many people know that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's basically they took, took mm -hmm. a photograph of him all dressed up and put it on the comic book. Um, this Popeye figure. So this is a re-release. So I actually bought this a number of years ago. And to this day, this is still my all-time favorite figure in my collection. There is just something about it. There's something that I love about it. Maybe it's the it's the first time that I had like fabricated clothing on an action figure mm -hmm. of that size. Or there, there's just something very special about that Popeye figure to me. So seeing it get a re-release for other people to get hold of it. Again, I thought that was a nice touch from Mezco. Um, and then finally, this one's a little bit weird. Because I don't really know what people... Uh, wait, wait, what are you going to do with it? Where are you going to put it? This is a life-size Megan Meg. doll from NECA. Um, I don't know how much this is going to cost. It's it's big. Do you know what I mean? Like, What, what are you going to do what, with this what thing? What do you mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> you're just going to stand it. In the, just gonna I think I know what Luke was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you're putting I, it on the space. I am... I'm concerned about some of the weirdos out there and what they might I'd... want to do with this thing. Yeah, I said the same thing. It's like NECA's already got a predator line, they don't need a second one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's there's something there's something off putting about this existing, yeah. is what I'm I getting at. The face doesn't look uh, it's NECA to be fair now, but the face isn't like that accurate. It doesn't look like a replica, like a proper yeah. replica of the, no. of the one. Uh just on the topic of Popeye today, um a, funny enough my friend of mine showed me a fake trailer for a movie. He thought it was real, and it was Conor McGregor as Popeye. And I, I as, as, <laughs> as, as bad as Conor, an actor as Conor McGregor, it was like he was, I think he used like AI to put him in it. It looked really funny, but um, I think he's actually perfect casting for him. <laughs> like, I think he'd really Popeye. Yeah, yeah, he has that one. You know that that looks. I have. It's, don't shoot us. I've never really got Popeye. It does nothing for us. I have to say, I'm just not. I a... loved Popeye in my childhood. Like yeah. it was, it was the go-to cartoon, and it made me eat my spinach. <laughs> like yeah. it worked. Yeah. At some point, when you do your uh, you you thing where you, where you watch old movies together, you need to watch Robin Williams as Popeye. Yeah, I've seen that. about yeah, that because yeah, yeah. uh, that is amazing. I love that. It film. is a good one. That I've <laughs> I've actually visited the set. Um, was it Malta? I think it's Malta where they it's filmed Malta, it. it. Yeah, and we're, it's the big selling thing. Visit the set. <laughs> it's literally rock. Do you know what I mean? There's no way. You know. But yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll not be buying the one to one scale Megan. I have to say, I'll I'll pass that one. I think. Um, I just wanted to mention these. We did mention them on One Good Scare on Friday night. Go check that out. Um, these are from Trick or Treat Studios. These are their kind of wall hanging displays, light up features. I think these are pretty cool. We have talked about them before, so please do check out One Good Scare and see what was said about them. Um, I'm loving the Slimer. And James, I know I said that it's too expensive. The Slimer runs for $375. This is before postage and packaging. The um, Is it Goza, the dog head? I can't remember. Is it Goza or is Goza the... It's the... Um... I can't remember if it's called Goza or not. No, Goza's the destructor, no, isn't Zool, it? So... Yeah, Zool is the... The woman, the it's the female thing. dog, yeah. yeah. But it's the key master and the gatekeeper. But what are they? Mm. What are their names? I can't remember. I don't know where I'm getting Goza from. But that the the, the dog head is going to cost you two hundred ninety nine dollars. Um, I don't think it's that bad for that Slimer though. How big is it? Well, it's it's hollow. It's it's to scale. Um, it hangs on your wall. It's battery operated. That's the thing that puts us off. Um, but I think that could look pretty spectacular. Stuck behind us there on the door. Mm. Kind of looking at us, do you know what I mean? What's it look like when it's off? I know that's the thing. If you use like glow in the dark paint to paint it or something, maybe yeah. it look good. But like, I think you need to see how does it I'm, look when it's off. I'm keen to wait on a few reviews first and yeah. see what I think of it. And what about the rest of you guys? Any of you guys tempted by these? Too pricey, I think. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Sorrel? Yeah. No, mm. not for me. No, Luke. I know you're a fan of Ghostbusters. Yeah, I, I do like that Slimer, but then now that James has said it, it is that question of what does it look like when it's switched off? Because yeah. I didn't think about that, and that's a that is the most that's a huge point. That is the most valid point. What's it going to look like ninety nine percent of the time? You yeah. Know, like, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I yeah. think you want it, you want it as glow in the dark. You want it so that when you turn the light off to leave, it's lit up, and yeah. when you come into the room, it's charging. You know. Yeah, like I say. Battery powered scares the hell out of me because I've had all kinds of. <laughs> I've had all. Got... Thanks, Kenneth. Nice to see you, bud. 
Um, <laughs> I've had all kinds of light up things behind us here and stuff, different kinds of lights for, for my room and whatnot. And you get like a couple of weeks of that and then the flat and you have to buy more batteries and it's a pain in the arse. Um, and the, I mean, that's in studio lights and all the rest of it. It's not going to light up that well, is it? Do you know what I mean? With battery, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Be interesting to see what it looks like when it comes out. Okie dokie, chaps. That's your whack. Thank you very much. Some interesting stuff this week. Um, Simon, have you got anything coming up in your world? Anything on your channel? Or have you got any more um, selling streams or anything like that? No, not at the moment. So. No longer. No. What's happening with your channel, mate? I thought we were going to do some reviews of anime I just, bollocks. I just haven't had the time, Peter. Like, with uh, me starting my new job and everything, I just, you know, that, that comes first, really, at the moment. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, well, as soon as you're ready, let me know. I'm sure we'll all be happy to jump on and do some anime stuff. Luke, what's happening over at Hydra Collectibles? Yeah, um, not a whole lot at the moment. Things are kind of changing and shifting a bit, so I'm debating at the moment about how regularly I'm going to be putting out content um i think i feel like the the weekly is getting too hard to keep up and and have it something that i enjoy doing rather than feeling like a slog so i'm leaning towards either fortnightly or maybe even once a month but doing something that i actually enjoy that i feel passionate about yeah. and and do the best um it is fast approaching the official uh turtles anniversary date and i have a lot of stuff that i can throw together to kind of build up a turtle documentary so uh maybe that will be the next thing that i release but again i'm not too sure yet when i'm gonna get started yeah good so i look forward to seeing that that'll be good fun um james t keegan what's happening over on one good scare uh we've had a slew of videos over the last week or two so we got reviews on spoiler reviews on ghostbusters uh late night with the devil immaculate Omen. The first Omen. King Kong. And King and Kong. Kong. <laughs> Plus, I'll be right back on The Omen. And either Friday, hopefully Friday, if not Friday, Saturday, um, we'll have I'll be right back on Godzilla 1998. That was an interesting just discussion. Just whacking away at that at the moment. So, yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Video. Loads of good content there. Thank you, James. And Super Sorrel, what's happening over in your world? Big box from Diamond turned up today, Ooh. so I'll be uh, doing a Diamond unboxing tomorrow on the channel. Check it out. Good stuff. Good stuff. The, the, got... Did they send you this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking what? I got a box from them. He might have one of the other turtles. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I got, because I got a box last week, Sorrel. Mm. And I got that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is nice. So yeah, I'm going to have to get the rest of them. I've got a couple of action figures as well, so it'll be interesting to see if you get the same stuff in your box. Um, <laughs> see which turtle you get, if you get a turtle. Good stuff, good stuff. And Sorrel, your um, live show, what day is that on? Yeah, so I do a live show with Jacob's Toys uh, from Instagram and YouTube on Sunday nights at 9.30pm. Uh, uh, called the Geek Week in Review, where we talk all good geeky stuff that has happened that week. Good stuff. Look forward to seeing that again this week. Okie dokie gang, that's your whack for another month from the toy team. Toy team, I like that. Um, so we'll see you next time. Thank you so much to everybody that's, that's jumped on tonight. And thank you to you guys. It's been a pleasure as always. So we'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.